two. Hello, hello. It is Friday. We're both early and late at the same time. That's a yep. new one for us. That's a new one. Yeah. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey and HBO Max, who we love so well. Uh, forgive me for being late. Lots of stuff going on. That's all I'll say about that. Um, gonna be doing a little bit or a shorter. You gotta limit us to like I don't know. Maybe we should just do an hour and a half today because oh my, we got a we got something going on and I got a heart out today. Gotcha. But we did do like ten, twenty-four hour episodes, guys, hey. this week. So, oh, Gabe's already here. Hey, baby, what's up? Wait, hold on, yeah. hold on. Wait, whoa, whoa. Is it too, it's too early to be dropping f bombs in the app? Uh, oh my. Hold on, Gabe. Hold on, Gabe. No F-bomb. Wait, wait uh, five seconds. Wait, bring, we'll be a bring Gabe in. out. Bring Gabe out. Bring him back in five minutes. He's on too early for that. For the, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're over a minute in. We are? Okay. Hey, yeah. baby. <laughs> Woo. Damn. You making gingerbread houses? House. Damn, it's falling apart right now. I'm just oh, so frustrated yeah. about it. Don't lie. The roof Don't. is collapsing. Oh, no. The foundation. Fuck. Don't I'm lie. You ate, that. you ate that roof. <laughs> and I don't blame you. That thing looks delicious. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you're in the you're in the Christmas spirit, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. Christmas spirit. Everybody's happy. Christmas nice. weekend, baby. Fuck baby. Fuck. Fuck, baby. Let's, let me see the house. What you working on? You got the are those little jelly beans or little candy chews? It's kinda like candy chews, which is kinda like part of the and then put some lights, Christmas lights. Love that. And the roof is falling off. Oh, oh, man. Which, man. Which, well, it's easy access for Santa if you want to be op <laughs> optimistic oh, yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. That, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, you can get the whole damn sleigh in that house, huh? You could just go through the attic and then through the, through, the, through the fireplace, I guess, through the stairs. Yeah, absolutely. You get more presents, I think, when you have no roof. It's just easier access. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right yeah. now, it's just frustrating. They got cheap frosting that's like glue. I wish they make edible glue or something. Fuck. You can eat I glue. I think you can eat Elmer's. Yeah, you can eat glue. You can eat Elmer's. Yeah, yeah you can eat Elmer's. Elmer's glue. Yeah, I don't edible recommend glue. it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to work on that. You know, it's uh, <laughs> technology is not caught up in the gingerbread yeah. house departments, has it? It's mm. like so old fashioned. You know, old fashioned back in the days. <laughs> yeah. So, what are your that Christmas plans? Christmas plans, we're going to have a family get together at the house, exchanging gifts. Fuck, it's going to be a Christmas weekend, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fuck, baby. Yeah. A special weekend edition. Have you heard that song, I Made Love to Mrs. Claus? I make love to Mrs. Claus. Uh, Mrs. I wanna... Claus. Got a um, thing going on. Thing going on. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's get it. Woo. Woo. All right. Well, I'm happy you're having a good time. I'm happy you're in the Christmas spirit. You lifted my spirits. That's for sure. Oh, we oh, have a yeah. wait. We have a Gabe update. Um, hold on. Oh shit. You were hungover. Here, Gabe posted this this morning. This doesn't. This ain't look like no Christmas spirit to me. Uh, uh, what that happened? Was from Gabe? last night. You that got... was from last night, and. Woo. Partying too hard Thursday night. Thursday night's like the start oh, of the week. Friday. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the weekend bomb, starts Thursday bomb. night. Damn. I guess some, <laughs> pe I, some people say Thursday's a new Friday. Do you, do you agree oh, with yeah. that? I agree definitely. Since some some comedians are doing implementing the three-day week and four-day work week. Oh, interesting. Oh, right. Thirsty Thursday. That's right. Thirsty Thursday. So how, much, so how much did you drink last night? It looks like you're in bad shape. I had like... Five, six shots. Whoa. Tequila. Fuck. Holy crap. Wow. This man knows how to live. I'm with you, Gabe, man. Ooh. Well, Fridays are for legends, as one of the comments says, and that means it's your day. So, fuck, baby. Woo. Fuck, baby. Woo. Fuck, baby. Woo. Fuck, yeah. Woo. 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 Let's see how shape this house will stay in before, before it totally collapse yeah you better frustrated. yeah get to work with that with that uh with that frosting okay i have faith in you you're gonna you're gonna build back better 
Ooh. We need a build back better bill for that gingerbread house. Hey, That's right. give, give me some confidence, baby. All right. I believe in you. All right, bud. You take care. You have a great weekend. You enjoy Christmas, okay? You uh, Thanks for lifting our spirits here on this uh, Friday mm-hmm. afternoon. Yeah. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Ooh. Christmas, buddy. Fuck, baby. Fuck. <laughs> All right, Gabe. All right. Love you, buddy. You have a great weekend, okay? See you, baby. Yeah, have a good one, too. All right. Oh, we're seeing you in person next week, right? Oh, yeah. I got a present for you. We're doing a gift exchange, right? Oh, yeah, gift exchange. You got me something good, right? (laughs) Yeah. Well, we'll find out next week. (laughs) All right. Give me something good. (laughs) Fuck, baby. Fuck. A Rolex, maybe? Something, maybe something like that. (laughs) Okay. All right. Sick. Can't wait. All right. All right. Take Friday. care, buddy. Friday. Ooh, Friday, baby. It's Friday, Friday. baby. Friday. All right. Take care, right. bud. Bye, Gabe. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Love that, man. Man, this picture is pretty iconic, dude. <laughs> that's a that's just raw. That's a raw update. Pain. No one can party like that. Has he got man. a bug or something, or maybe it's just like a little yeah, no. something on his skin. Yeah, yeah. When we were at the party, he was just doing consecutive fucking shots. Like, God, he's a party animal. He's a legend, and man. he's fifty years old too. Which again, apparently, the secret to youth is just getting drunk every weekend. Because he looks great for fifty. I mean, he looks younger than me. I would say. I'm 36, you know. <laughs> All right. That was a treat. God bless. God bless, Gabe. Gabriel. So, um, yeah, as you can see by the title, we had a rough morning in that regard. I've been reported to the FBI. Uh-oh. Uh, by none other than Ryan Kavanaugh. You know, most people are spending time with their family. Ryan Kavanaugh is shit posting and tagging the fucking FBI and urging people to uh, send tips about me being a meanie to the FBI. Now, is being a meanie a federal crime? I, that's where he was mistaken. I believe it's only a state crime. Oh, so the F, that's not yeah. even in the FBI's yeah. jurisdiction. He would want to report that to the uh, attorneys, uh, attorney general, attorney general, attorney general of California. California. Yeah, that would be the proper channel. This is the first time. For me to be <laughs> actually, it's the third time. Actually, oh, right. The, well, he says it's yeah. the first time. He says it's the first time. Oh, right, right, right. That's true. I he was, does say it's the first time. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Ryan Kavanaugh says, at H3 Podcast, of course, he blocked me, so I'm assuming he just says he's inciting violence. Again, bro, you got to stop saying that. You got to stop saying I'm inciting violence. It's violence to say that he looks like Harvey Weinstein. That's violence. That's defamatory. That's, That's violence. Defamatory. He can say it's defamatory. It's not. But saying I'm inciting violence. No, that's defamatory on his part. Oh, absolutely it is. Mm. Mm. Absolutely, it is. I mean, what? Well, anyway, he goes. Ethan HP podcast is inciting violence, hate, and threats. Me and almost anyone I know getting the same threats and hate. Hash, and then of course he tags uh, Instagram, at YouTube, at Twitter, as he, uh, the head of a media company, knows that's the best way to get the attention of huge media companies is to tag their main at. Also, he tagged Reddit. So I'm sure those are going straight to the top of the food chain. Absolutely. He says, please act before this causes more harm. And he links this video and he says, file complaints here, fbi.gov slash tips. I'm sure they have their top men on that by now. Well, as you found out when they raided you this morning, kicked in your door. Yeah, they came. They said there was an it was one of those 8 a.m. knocks and they go, 
They go, hey, open up, FBI. We have, we have reports that someone in here is being a meanie. Come out with your hands up. There was helicopters overhead. They blocked off the whole street. There was basically 20 police cars, fully armored, SWAT teams everywhere. It was traumatic. This is live footage from your, uh... It was... This is exactly what happened this morning. This is exactly what happened. That, that is basically the best characterization of what's happened at my house this morning. So you can see there's been a lot happening. Ela's not here today because uh, she's being detained by she's the being FBI. She's being questioned. She's being questioned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm out on bail. $10 million bail. I, uh, <sighs> I sold Gabe, everything. Gabe put up the money, actually. He helped out. I, uh, yeah, G G Gabe's had a crazy year on Cameo, so he was able to uh, yeah. give me a bail bond. Yep. What a king. That was some serious shit. And um, I'm out on bail, but I'm facing, you know, 30 to life on this meanie charge. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Speaking of Gabe, apparently he's finally got that White Claw sponsorship that gave him his own flavor. Gingerbread? Yeah. Wait, is that a real flavor? Yeah. Yeah, they just launched it. Is this a real flavor? I, I hope no. not. No. Because yeah. that would be disgusting. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, why, you know. Okay, Gabe is crushing it, bro. That's a pretty cool promo. <laughs> yeah, do you believe this guy, Ryan? I mean, are you fucking serious? Can you imagine the FBI, like, all the shit they have to deal with these days, you know? And now they've got Ryan Kavanaugh telling people to fill out tips. Mm-hmm. What, what do you suppose you wrote in that tip field? D hit me with that sad Keemstar music. Dear FBI, my name is Ryan Kavanaugh. There it is. Before I utterly bankrupted Relativity Media... I was just a good old boy who started a hedge fund with my daddy's money that he got by selling fake Picassos. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, allegedly with peace and love. Just my opinion based on that article. It's also just a joke. I'm just a comedian. I'm not a news organization. And he goes, well, I'm just a good old boy. I'm just a, I'm the underdog CEO, or I'm the majority owner of a huge media company. Underdog, Ryan Kavanaugh. And he said I looked like Harvey Weinstein. This has to be a federal offense. He even wrote in the field, he wrote, if you go to Google and type Ryan Kavanaugh, in the search field and you scroll down FBI if you're listening and click holy shit it's pretty high up there his website's gone love oh no it's down here we're ranking above his website wow that's, number that's, three that's it's very that, unusual for it to jump down that much that's credibility hmm. click in the mouse and Papa's, Papa's in the in house, the house. Um, so he goes, Dear FBI, do you really think I look that much like Harvey Weinstein? And then the FBI agent comes to this website, he scrolls down, and, he go and then he comes to this. And he says, hmm, I do see the resemblance, but this is a federal crime. crime. <laughs> do you see it? And the FBI agent goes, hmm, look at the resemblance, that is uncanny. Then the FBI agent scrolls down and he starts to read and look and he plays the game at the bottom. Spends some time on the website. And he says, this Ethan kid, he's a menace to society. We've got to lock him up. No bail and throw away the key. Ethan Klein is, is damaging everything, making it all worse. That, I believe, is from the FBI director, a direct quote. That's right. The fucking FBI. You believe this guy? 
I mean, like, really, let's take this in. He is telling people to file a tip on FBI.gov about me. Have we reached fully unhinged yet, or is there more ways, is there further to go? Yeah, it, uh, it's, it's hard to say. <clears throat> I've long said that the quartering is like the platonic uh, ideal of an oaf, but this tweet, I don't the know. Fucking he, he may F have superseded uh, Jeremy. This is pure. This is top oaf. This is top tier <laughs> oafishness. It's there. all dumb. Yeah, so we need to free Ela from the FBI. She's currently. They heard Ela said, um, "What did Ela? Ela said something like, uh, she's like, I don't like Ryan Kavanaugh.' I think on the last pot, on the last After Dark, and they they got her now. Fuck. The FBI got her, put her away for life. She slipped up. I don't like it. So thoughts and prayers to Ela for that. We have a beautiful moment in this week's behind the scenes where Ethan reads that tweet for the first time because he tweeted it while we were live. And so we were waiting till after the episode to show Ethan. And oh, yeah. We were doing special. the Cracker episode. And then mm -hmm. you guys were like, the new craziest Kavanaugh tweet just dropped. I was like, what? Um, and I read it live. I was shocked. You know. Oh, and then here's the craziest part, you guys. This motherfucker been promote. He's been paying to promote this shit. He's been paying to promote his telling people to. T this guy, we looked at. Uh, this guy doesn't know anything about anyone. He says, "So I don't know who this Ryan guy is. Neither do I know what the H three podcast is, nor who this woman crying is. But this guy promo. This is a promoted, <laughs> and the person has replies turned off. Are are they paying to promote YouTuber drama?" <laughs> <clears throat> like the fact that he's paying to promote it, it's even just confusing. Like, I mean, to anyone who's not familiar, which yeah, I guess just stumbles across that. But we actually found uh, it with the promoted tab, right? We found it at oh, long yeah, last. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. How'd you find it? Because we were looking for that. Uh, actually, a viewer sent it in. I asked that person who made that. Oh, yeah, tweet. they're promoted. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. What's funny is that, you know, we've deleted everything, but Ryan's promoted Twitter video lives on. <laughs> so it was at this moment that he knew. So he's he really helping up. everyone there. What a guy. <clears throat> Love him. Oh, this is one I've been sitting on. This, this is good, actually. Okay. Because, I, I, you know, let's go. So Keemstar, there's basically an axis of evil going on. Okay. There's a collection of people that don't like me going on. Wait, they self-describe themselves as the axis of evil. I don't think that it's uncalled. Don't they sell axis <laughs> of evil merch? No, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm not talking about, like, leaf. That was a leafy thing, wasn't it? But Keemstar, no, it was Keemstar. He calls himself axis it was, of yeah. evil. It was Keemstar, leafy, and rice gum. Yeah. yeah. The content cop and not. No, I think it's fair. I think it's fair to want to in by with items. that. Dude. That shit is dead and gone now, right? Like, I, I don't know what happened to it, but no. like to self-describe yourself as the axis of evil is to call yourself a, no a fascist Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not something good. Hmm. Last time I checked, really, things are quickly changing, though. Really think that through, did they? But anyway, Keemstar, of course, champion of creators' rights, is out here defending Ryan Kavanaugh. There is no way that this absolute... There is no way... There is no way. <laughs> Here, let's watch this from the top. There is no way that this absolute fucking clown is crying about somebody going after his sponsor. No, shut up. H3H3 <laughs> is the. By the way, I'm not. Cr I'm not crying about him going after my sponsors. I. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, it's not working. But regardless, he's delusional because that's exactly what he did. His only defense against the content nuke was you went after sponsors, and then we found out he's been doing that for years. So, again, yeah, we're back on the Keem cycle of delusion. It's like a Romeo and Juliet. Exactly. Also, yeah, no. Keem lost his sponsors because of things that he did that got called out, right? Dude, it was just G Fuel. The dude had a bottle of G Fuel while urging somebody to basically unalive themselves. Yes. Like, how could I not point that out? 
<laughs> it was. I mean, it, was it wasn't a funny like observation. it wasn't like I was like everybody go email G Fuel and tell them to drop Keem. It was like right, which is literally what Ryan did, which is what Ryan did, right? Stupid but like, bitch. so Keemstar, are you for this or against it? Like, you can't be like I'm for it against Ethan and against it for everyone else. Like, you've got to pick your lane, bro. The biggest hypocrite of YouTube. In May of 2020, this motherfucker uploads a series of videos lying and, you know, just getting all the facts wrong and putting a weird spin on fucking stories surrounding me. One of them accusing me of murder, of killing another YouTuber. Bro, stop. Murder? It didn't happen. It's just like, it's so happen. funny that he says I accused him of murder. He's never able to point to specific things either. Never. He says, I got everything wrong. I lied. It's like, name one thing I lied about, bro. <laughs> well, he's saying I accused him of murder, which is just amazing. Causing an emotional response from his fans. And then at the same time, targeting my sponsor, G Fuel, which all of his fans started doxing and harassing. and Doxing G Fuel? <laughs> Dox G Fuel. Okay. Okay. Death threats to my fucking sponsor. Death threats to which G Fuel? Which caused me to lose my G Fuel sponsorship, right? Everybody called him out for this. Critical called him out for this. Mm -hmm. Like, biggest YouTubers on the planet called him out. Don't do that. That's bad for the fucking community. But he didn't okay, so, listen. So, In fact, James Charles then gets canceled for... And again, I think James Charles is guilty and deserved to get canceled. There is <laughs> no way. That the Dude! Pick a fucking side. Yeah, he what? goes, everybody called him out. They said he shouldn't do this. But now I support Ryan Kavanaugh doing it because I don't like Ethan. Yeah, and he goes, well, James Charles de deserved it. But yeah, Ethan tried to cancel James. <laughs> For being an actual, you know, enough, you guys oh, know about James. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Let me read Def Noodle's, Def Noodles' description, because he's always on it. Keemstar claims Ethan's being a hypocrite for calling out Kavanaugh for going after sponsors. Ironically, by supporting Ryan Kavanaugh going after Ethan's sponsors, Keemstar is supporting the very thing he's accusing Ethan of doing. Double irony, Keemstar has gone after sponsors and celebrated when creators lost their sponsors in the past. Yes. Yeah. I he's, guess. he's pretty entertaining, though, Keemstar. Uh, yeah. Like, and and also, I gotta say, great steady hand king. The way oh, he holds so it, steady. Yeah. That makes you jealous. It oh. really does. Because <laughs> oh, he's sure. bobbing his head. He's losing it. And still very... Is it possible he's using a tool? I don't know. He's a selfie stick kind of guy for sure. Now that, I think that yeah. would be yeah. so fucking funny if he was all these snaps. He had a selfie stick. Well, look where his arm is. I think you... Because his arm is too low. I think he has a tool. If his arm... You can see his arm is going down. Like if you're holding it, his arm would be like this. But yet it's down. So he definitely has some kind of tool. His arm is, is like this. He has a tool, A.B. Maybe you should invest in a tool, A.B. <laughs> yeah. Dude. <coughs> he's not holding the camera. My mind is just fucking blown right now if he's using a tripod. Look at, look, at his, look at the angle of his arm. He's not holding the camera. He's holding a stick or some kind of tool that's shooting the phone, holding the phone in front of him. Yeah. This is wild. And stop at just telling everybody what was going on. No, he went after James Charles' sponsors. He did it again. And Bro, you just said he deserved to get canceled. <laughs> That's just... And now I'm Hitler. <laughs> well, you are. You did say axis of evil. And the David Dobrik situation, I'm not exactly sure if he went after David Dobrik. Well, maybe you should look that up, news guy. <laughs> I never did go after David Dobrik sponsors. Sponsors, I'm pretty sure he did, but I know. Right, okay, news oh, guy. Oh, he's pretty sure. He goes, Ethan lies and gets everything wrong about me. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he went after David's sponsors. So this, he platformed the fucking reporters that definitely went after David Dobrik's sponsors. I okay. mean, this is an ongoing thing. So you're, you hypocritical piece of shit. You don't get to cry about someone else going after your sponsors. You don't get to do it. You don't get to say, this is going to cause an apocalypse. Guys, guys, community, help me. And here's another thing with this lawsuit, this current lawsuit that's oh, going on with good. H3H3. H3, his fans and him are complaining that he's not getting community support from other YouTubers like he did in 2016. Well, in 2016, H3H3 is clowning on Matt Damn Boss, bitch. right? And Matt Boss gets salty and then sues H3H3. H3. It was clearly over fair use. Uh -huh. This new situation is completely different. Huh. But Ethan didn't stop at... Gosh, I wonder hmm. if he's been talking to Ryan about it. Interesting. I don't think it's completely different, bro, actually. Just telling everybody what was going on. No, he... Oh, next one. Yeah. Okay. He H3 does H3 have, H3. like, a uh, boxing venture that's starting up soon. I wonder if... Um... Oh, he said it's with Ryan Kavanaugh. He literally said on his podcast. Oh, he did? He said, I have a project coming up with Ryan Kavanaugh next month. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. 
pirated the 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 boxing fight, the trailer boxing Dumb fight, fuck. promoted the idea of pirating and not paying for it. And That's then, not what he's being sued. First of all, That's not saying what I promote, bro. What does that have to do with copyright infringement? Isn't I mean, that what drama alert is? In, like, what is he arguing? It's not, but I'm saying, like, that's all he does is just watch clips on his show. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're... I don't know what he's talking about. It, I don't think he's really familiar with the lawsuit. Uh, I'm going to go out. Well, he's land. familiar with just, what, what uh, Ryan... H3, H3. Right. Pirated the, the the boxing fight, the trailer boxing fight, promoted the idea of pirating and not paying for it, and then re... That's not a crime, bro. It's also not what you're being sued for. No. So, huh. It's almost like he's not actually. Uh, it's almost like he's a situation. news guy that doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> the fight to millions of people, so he gets sued for that. And instead of just being like, "Okay, I'm wrong, I'm guilty," no, he decides to make podcast after podcast after podcast about my I best friend and good and my my helper, my best friend. Bo in the house, a.k.a. Ryan Kavanaugh. Hacking, you know, the people involved in Triller, which causes him to get another lawsuit. This is not about fair use. Go fuck yourself, you hypocritical piece of shit. And all your fans. Okay. Oh, and all your fans. You heard it. Go fuck yourself and all your fans. You guys heard it. So sassy. Yeah, but, like, obviously, he's so desperate to believe it's not about fair use. But it is, of course, and about okay, more. I mean, his defamation, all Keemstar does is, like, basically defame people or... At least talk about people like if Keemstar or if Kavanaugh wins against me on defamation, that'll fuck Keemstar harder than anyone with what he does. Hmm? You know what I mean? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh yeah, Def Doodles ends each. <laughs> Shout Keemstar, out <laughs> each Keemstar pose with a rock. Shut up, bitch! It's <laughs> awesome. Cool. Yes, you heard it there. Keemstar said, fuck Ethan and all of his fans. I think he's talking about you guys. Nobody talks about my fans that way. I'll be the one to tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nobody else. <laughs> or Dan, I think that's your job, actually. Right, yeah. That's my job. I'm the good guy. So, all kinds of good stuff. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah. We actually figured out how... He shoots all those videos. He's got it right on his keychain. A pocket knife or a, a Swiss army knife with, with, a, with a selfie, selfie stick. stick. Yeah. I like that, actually. You should invest in that, yeah. AB. It looks custom. You think it's custom? Once you can get a tool to hold a camera steady, then Keemstar will have, you'll have be nothing to covet from him. Right. I can you'll take be over free. drum alert. Yeah, he right. probably he probably he needs a new host. He might be good at it. I mean, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay, you sure? I mean, you know. Also, a nice little can. Uh, we we've been covering a lot of really cool Kavanaugh tweets. This one's awesome. Oh, what did he tweet? Wow, what the fuck? Why is this? Why is he posting like spam, this one, copy pasta shit? <laughs> I haven't read this. Even, it might be. Too spicy for YouTube. To tell yeah, the truth. his it's, responses. It's pretty insane. Yeah, it's basically like mega Islamophobia. Yeah, it's just like a hardcore like anti-Islam rant. I didn't see the top part, but you can tell it's um, you can tell it's credible based on the wild fluctuation of fonts, the <laughs> yeah, wild <random> boldness. <laughs> It's basically a QAnon post here. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, there's parts of this that if you read out loud, we'd probably get uh, okay. stung for. His reply to it is pretty epic. I'm bottom. He says there are 200 million plus extreme Muslims, and there are 12 total Jews. Yep. Just 12. Just 12. So you mean 12 million? He probably means 12 million because that is a true number. He was sauced up when he was. Yeah, he, this, yeah, so. as usual. <laughs> That's speculation, by the way. <laughs> I love that. There's 200 million... Isn't there... There's 200 million Muslims and only 12 Jews. The odds are stacked against us, people. And he keeps calling you racist. It's like this dude has, like, all these anti-Black Lives yeah, Matter tweets. He hates Muslims. It's crazy. Yeah. And funnily enough, he doesn't know how to erase tweets, so they're still up there. <laughs> I, I know. It's very strange. <laughs> He's an odd man. Very odd man. Well, it's hard. When you're drunk, it's hard to 
do fine uh, motor skills like hitting the delete button. On. Oh, maybe the three little dots. Yeah, he, that's tough. Some say he's still there. Yeah. Oh God, I gotta get rid of sip, this. He takes a sip. Uh -oh. He clip. He's oh man. Uh, he just passes out. Tries the next day. <laughs> the problem is, as soon as he wakes up, he takes another drink, and then it's a vicious cycle. Drinking semen is a good idea. <laughs> As a percent, there is as many violent Nazis as there are violent Muslims. What does that mean? As a, as a percent? He's a great thinker, though. Wait. Mm -hmm. So he's saying there's 200 million extreme Muslims. Mm -hmm. And, and 12 I, I think Jews. that there's about a billion Muslims in the world. And so he's saying... Oh, one out of but hold every on. So five. He's, so he's saying one out of every five Nazis are violent. As a percent, as many wow. Nazis. Ooh. Which is a very... You like that, Ryan. Very strange. Wait, is he defending Nazis? Well, o only the nonviolent ones. Only the four out of five that aren't violent. <laughs> Fucking own his ass, Dan. So he's saying... He's basically saying... Like, what is he trying all to Muslims, say <laughs> All Muslims are Nazis, basically. No, he's saying 200 million of them are like violent Nazis, which are the bad <laughs> Nazis. As a percent, as many violent Nazis <laughs> as violent Muslims. That's, that's why my family calls Dan Habib Dan. <laughs> What's Habib? Habib means sweetheart. Oh, you're a Habibi. A Habibi that's or a Habib? Uh, you can say both. Habibi. 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 Shout out to Habibi's fan. Can I be Habibi? Shout out to Habibi's fan. Habibi. Habibi. I want to be Habibi. I want to be Habibi. You'll get there. Habibi. What? I'm not there yet. You're Habibi to me. <laughs> Habibi. <laughs> I'm Habibi to me. You would be a Habib day, girl. There's this term in uh in Judaism for like righteous uh, Gentiles, like uh, they call them like a a righteous Gentile. I think you're a righteous Gentile. Maybe. Oh, thank you, thank you. Like for example, who would be a righteous Gentile? Like uh, you know, Schindler, Oscar Schindler. He gets that. Right. He's a righteous Gentile. Right. Now, isn't it, what is the term for it? There, it's, I've heard that before. Isn't it goyim? No, that's no, just goyim. a Gentile. Right. Yeah. Oh. They're so elevated what? Gentile. Elevated going. <laughs> it's the same thing. A Gentile is a non-Jew. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, ju I'm just asking you if you know the Yiddish word for it. I know I'm familiar with going. Righteous Gentile. It's actually really interesting, the whole... Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's the name. It's called a... Nochide. A Gentile who has forsaken ideal tree while living among his own people. Following the sons of Noah. What the fuck? Religion's so <laughs> weird. Oh, here. Righteous among the nations is an honorific used by the state of Israel to describe non-Jews who risked their lives during the Holocaust to save Jews from extermination. Right. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Shout Righteous out. among the nations. Shout out to Schindler. That's a cool, that's a cool fucking title. They have like a big-ass mural to... Oscar Schindler in Israel, and it's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. Adolf Hitler, dude. <laughs> Whoa, calm down there, Hassan. <laughs> Not, don't get so happy about the guy. <laughs> Hassan. <laughs> Hassan Pecker. Cracker. <laughs> That's such a good sound bite. <laughs> yeah, he's got some gems, man. Oh. Crack up. <laughs> yeah, and you know what, man? I'm sorry, but there's just one more thing. Ryan Kavanaugh has now gotten into the the cheese responding to reviews on. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm speculating, but like, who who amongst their support team would write a, a comment like this in response to a review? <laughs> you think it was him directly? I mean, I do, I do, I do actually, I do. You can't say for sure, but when you look at this, it's it's like who else would feel as confident to say something like this unless I mean, you were? Of course, I, I. Are don't... there a lot of typos? Because that would probably confirm it well of course i the don't grammar know is correct it's I, I would say it's not him okay so let's read okay, yeah let's just say of course i don't know for sure i mean how could i know i don't work at trail i don't have access to their things but do i think ryan left this yes <laughs> for sure so unprofessional and buggy the camera kept facing the wrong direction when i tried to use it i talked to support and they completely disregarded my issue and made fun of my english <laughs> Not my only language. I would one million rather use TikTok for entertainment. I tried to use the app for fun and enjoyment, but actually it upsets me a lot. People aren't nice at all. I felt like I was getting attacked and told it was my fault. Actually bullied for a genuine review. 
And then Triller LLC responds, Hi, Maddie. I'm sorry you didn't enjoy the app. No one has reported a mirroring issue in the app to Triller since it first occurred months ago. So I'm not sure you have a problem there. Also, 1,000, 1 million percent is not a real percentage. So, and then, of course, 1 yeah. million percent is a real percentage. Yeah, yeah. You it, can it, go, yeah. That's why I think it's Kavanaugh. <laughs> I'm starting to come around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to come around uh, based off of that percent con. Like, it, it clearly is a real percentage. You can have a million percent of something. It just means that it's that many more times the original amount. Right. Like, it's it's definitely a real... That's like saying, oh, and a million isn't a real number. It's like the way that Face Banks th thinks he's infinitely smarter than you. Right. right. I'm infinitely smarter than you, and I'm um, infinitely more <laughs> successful than you. I think he's mistaking how you can't have more... You can't have of a tangible object... You can't give more than 100% effort, right? So when people say, oh, I'm giving a billion percent effort, it's like, you can't give more than 100% effort. What the fuck are That's you saying? That's the maximum effort you can give. But if, if you say, I have, you know, if I have 10 pieces of rice, I can have a million percent more pieces of rice. Oh, wow, you were ready with that. So <laughs> if you get inside the mainframe... <laughs> You hit Bro, the chalkboard. Are you fucking high right now? No, I'm on to something. And hold on, I'm about to have a breakthrough. <laughs> if you go to the whiteboard and you start m equals mc squared, uh -huh. and if you think about black, the density of black hole and how it tears the time, the time space continuum, you can understand how a million percent can be real. Although maybe if you go deeper into the black hole where the 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 fabric of space time and physics breaks down and maybe he's right that in the event horizon that a million is not a real number that could be true in that one instance unless hmm? you're traveling 88 miles per hour mm -hmm. and you get struck with a bolt of lightning that's 1.21 gigawatts mm -hmm. and potentially it could go in reverse otherwise oh, like, <laughs> oh wow oh, that was good Zach <laughs> what the f <laughs> That was fast. McFly! <laughs> yeah, maybe he's talking about uh, Back to the Future. I don't know. Interesting stuff, huh? Guys, come on. You got to admit, this is interesting stuff here today. Interesting stuff here today. Fascinating. Thank you, Olivia. Absolutely. Thank you for supporting me. Always. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should talk about this. A shout out to Ela, CEO, entrepreneur, Teddy Fresh. Shout out to Hildy. Final drop of the year, TeddyFresh.com. Funding lawsuits everywhere. Uh, we've got the Sherpa Half Zip, my friends. This is a beautiful piece. Gorgeous, comfy. Multicolored white. White's a brave color choice for the Sherpa, but if you feel brave, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's risky. It's a lot of real estate to stain. Absolutely. But this is my fave color. And if you keep looking, this graphic is hard to appreciate in the social post, but it's a really beautiful embroidery. You got the Teddy Fresh Bear. You got all the fun little graphics, which we love so well. Funding lawsuits everywhere. Head on over to teddyfresh.com. Last drop of the year. Women's plaid zip jacket. Look at this zipper, bro. We, we developed custom zippers with a teddy bear head. It's kind of hard to see, I guess, but another beautiful piece. Ela Klein. Uh, what's going on with my computer? I don't know. Here. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. You cool. Oh, take photos. Work it. Work it. You got the women's shrunken plaid vest. This is pretty popular. I see women. Wait, is this? Yeah, this is for women. And more men. You know, size up if you're a guy, I, I'm assuming. You got the Sherpa pants, the matching pants, the matching pants. This is one I designed. 
and I thought it was going to flop bad. I made a bunch of shirt designs a while ago. You, you can tell I designed that, right? <laughs> Always late. I drew it out, and it actually turned out pretty good. I mean, people like it, which is, I was like, oh, God. Little, you know, the melting clock egg on a toast. Salvador Dolly. That's it, cool. It's a, I made a bunch of designs called Teddy Fresh RX, you'll see. Which is about how I am on uh, a shitload of antidepressants every day. <laughs> and I wanted to express myself. This is just one piece of, like, the collection. I guess more will be coming out later. That's cool, man. Thank you. Did you, uh, the, the, the egg Salvador that, Dali part, you designed that too? Yes, I did. That's pretty dope. I mean, so basically I did rough sketches and I'm a horrible artist. So then we sent it sure. to a Came better concept, artist right. to... to Nice. But they kind of did try to capture my style. They just made it nicer. So right. that was cool. Yeah, I'm happy actually. That turned out pretty fun. Oh, and there, there's a watch here. It's a broken watch on the sleeve. Let me see. There's a picture of it. I think I saw it. Oh, yeah, this. Going? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So shout out, you know. Yeah, I design stuff every uh, every once in a while. Oh, this one's restocked. The cat applique. Everyone loves this one. Don't touch me. So nice. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. You so good. And basically, oh, this was like a mega hit that we restocked. The women's uh, patchwork zip up. This is like it's beautiful. You wear that one, don't you, Olivia? Or a different? I wear it in the other color, but I yeah. do also love this one. You can have one if you want. I would love. Yeah, just tell uh, Lena. Yeah, so there you guys go. TeddyFresh.com. Funding lawsuits everywhere. We Shout also out. have uh, some sponsor reads that we should do. Okay, so let's thank our sponsors. Uh, let's start with Honey. Oh, wait, I want to show this one. This one's not in stock, is it, uh, AB? But it looks so good. <laughs> Look sorry, at these a little OG. late. Look at I these OGs. The oh, it is on the website still? Yeah. Lena looks amazing in our... I forget what it's called. And then our Swami, you guys know Swami, he's locked, he's loaded, he's looking good. He's actually wearing the same hoodie I am now. It's the uh, thermal lined zip up hoodie, which yeah, yeah, is yeah. awesome. It's warm, it's cozy, it's comfy. It's really yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. the thermal I, lining. I apologize, I don't see it on the website. Yeah, I think that one's oh my sold God. out. There's, yeah, I saw the sweater, it's a similar oh color. Oh my but. God. Well, it's a great picture, I mean, I don't mind. No, Brian. Thank you. Um. Anyway, thank you to Honey. We all shop online, and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the. Fr I wonder if Honey knows I'm a, a, a FBI fugitive. Probably shouldn't mention that during the sponsor read. Well, I'm, I'm a fugitive from the FBI. I'm on the run as we speak. Thanks to Honey! Manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech, gaming products, popular fashion brands, and even food delivery. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, and when you go to the checkout, the Honey button drops down, and all you gotta do is click Apply Coupon. You Wait. don't even have to think about it, dude. That's right, Steven. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site, and if Honey finds a working coupon, watch that price drop immediately. Eat up. Yo, we got a discount on Postmates? Indeed. That is unbelievably epic. Here. A good percentage too. Yeah, I mean, it's it's insane. If you're not using Honey, you're literally missing out on free money. It's so easy, it's seamless. You just install it, couple clicks, and when you check out, it just automatically looks for coupon codes, applies them if they can find it, and that's it. I mean, we save money on clothing, specifically clothing a lot. I'm surprised we got 15, 14, 12 bucks off. Damn food? That's crazy. 
Insane. Uh, Honey has founded 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Eat your heart out, Jeff Bezos. Whoa. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I never recommend something I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3ad. That's joinhoney.com slash h3ad. And finally, thank you to HBO Max. Yay, 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 yay. Love HBO Max. I love this love. song that he plays on the ads. Well, it's my H- favorite one. Yeah, and HBO. I, I got to tell you, it's a, it's the it's my favorite streaming service right now. I go there. There's always something good. If it's not on HBO Max, they got these hub networks. I get all my anime. They got Crunchyroll on the hub network, and you can watch all these new anime shows. Freaking, there's one on there called uh, Golly, what's it called? Um, Golly. The, I just said Golly. I know. Was that one of the categories? I for think the it was. Thing yeah. <laughs> uh, two infinity or something? No. What was it called? Fuck. Where it's about this orb that's sent to the Earth to experience. Yeah, you guys never heard of the show? It was so good. It's insanely good. Um, orb that goes to Earth to learn anime. Uh, Chat to your know. eternity. To your eternity, okay. Like, I haven't heard people talking about this, but it's insanely good. Have you guys seen To Your Eternity? First time hearing about it. It's on HBO Max through Crunchyroll, and it's, like, freaking beautiful. Nice. Um, Do people watch this show? I'm, like, so confused why nobody knows this show. It's, uh, I'm seeing... I'm seeing that some people in the chat saying, yeah. It's, they, like, they love it. freaking... It's one of those shows where I was like, why is no, everyone not talking about this show? But besides that, they've got Dune, Many Saints of Newark, Succession, Season 3, Insecure, Season 5, Curb, Season 11. They've got The Matrix! Oh, yeah. Coming out next week. Next, next week. freaking week! Oh. I'm so hyped for that. You know I'm watching that shit day one Can't with wait. my popcorn. I'm going to be talking. Oh, come on, Neo. Come on. Oh, Neo, you're the chosen one. You gotta do it, Neo. You gotta, you, you gotta, gotta jump. You gotta beat you the gotta Matrix. Believe, Neo. Neo, you gotta believe, Neo. They gotta beat the Matrix. You I, gotta believe. Yes, sir. They also have the new uh, Sex in the City spinoff show, and just like that, very good. Highly <laughs> recommend it. Oh, was that? I heard a lot of people talking about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's really good. I have to say, it's really good. Nice. Yeah. But the Matrix. No, Sam- no, no Samantha, though, right? You gotta believe no. Samantha. Samantha's Dude, what Samantha is starting to believe? To Wait, Samantha? which one's Samantha? The redhead? No, no. the blonde. The, the oh, other blonde. The not blonde. not the main one, the but the other I blonde. I just didn't want to do it. Yeah. Really? really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Why? But it, it, it's still really good. Highly recommended. Did she die in the show or something? No. <laughs> like that, that's a plot point? That That's someone else. No spoiler. <laughs> oh, shit. Spoiler. Well, that is a spoiler. Just saying that. I feel like a lot of people have seen it by now. I'm just... Oh, oh, Jesus, Zach. You just spoiled the fucking show. Who's going to go watch it now? <laughs> oh, my God. Zach, did you watch the original? <laughs> uh, yes. Did you love it? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't. My parents used to watch that, and I'd be like, I'm too young for this shit. Good show. Anyway, guys, there's so much to watch there. It's it's honestly insane. Uh, it's got all your favorites. It's got something for everyone. It's all in one place. You can download top titles and watch it. On your devices to go as well. So don't miss out on taking your entertainment game to the next level. HBO Max is the streaming home of over 13,000 hours of addictive series, blockbuster movies, and exclusive originals. Start streaming on your favorite device today. Sign up at hbom.ax slash h3ad2. The URLs get more insane every time I read it. (laughs) But don't worry, the link is in the description. Yes, as of... Just a second ago, actually, I just added it. Thank so. you, Dan. Yeah, so once again, sign up at HD, HB, okay, sorry, H-B-O-M dot A-X slash H-3-A-D-2. Very easy to remember. <laughs> Links in the description, and we love you, HBO Max, so thank you. Yeah, yeah, come on. Can I just say real quick hmm. that both those sweaters are still available on the website? I was wrong. You're wrong. Wait, which, which wait, 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 which ones? The ones uh, the one he, Lena was wearing? Lena and Swami were wearing. I'm wearing the one Swami's wearing. Yeah, and yeah, the one no, Lena has on is Wait, there. Lena's is still on the website? Yeah. Oh. It's, yeah, it's from a previous drop, I'm pretty sure. I think yeah. the last one. 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's this one because it's a different color being displayed. Right. This is the one that she was wearing. Oh, yeah, they are both on there. Oh, thank you for making that update, AB. That's yes. that's important. That's critical, an important distinction. Critical information. Thank yeah. you. Shout and it's beautiful. Chat. Houndstooth cardigan. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. All right, well, what do we got here today? We got uh, Jake Paul said he's going to eat. I am so not watching this fight, not and not because I got sued the last time I did. <laughs> um, Jake Paul is now fighting the same fucking guy again. Before he, I was actually interested in that fight when he was going to fight uh, Tyson Fury's brother. Tyson Fury's like the world champ right now. Enter interesting guy, entertaining guy, and I was like, his brother's going to kill Jake. I really thought he was, and now he's fighting the same guy he beat last time. I mean, who gives a fuck, bro? Nobody's watching this shit. I mean, shit. we just added to his contract that if he can knock me out, he'll get 500k bonus on top. So, that's that. I don't need nothing. I already got everything. Does that... I just bet I beat his ass. That's my bet. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a eat your ass. I mean, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> I'm not falling for that. <laughs> you won't let me... Nah, pause. Luckily... Was that a joke or a slip up? I think he was joking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's. <laughs> I liked his response though. I'm not falling. Yeah, I guess he, Jake has always been like, I'm doing the sussy joke. I'm doing the Aiden Ross sussy, sussy. Oh uh, yeah, S yeah. Sussy. Uh, I'm gonna eat uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna eat your ass. I'm gay. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> isn't that funny? Oh yeah, didn't he post that TikTok where he he said he hooked up with Lil Nas X? Yeah, that was like, yeah, like that's actually straight base. weird psycho. Freak yeah, it is shit. weird. It's pretty odd. Pretty a little Nas. <laughs> but if this were actually an accident, <laughs> then that's so funny. Well, you know, I don't think it was because he was doing it the last time. It was, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm sussy. I'm gonna, you know, Careful, uh, I might give you a kiss on the lips, buddy. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm sus. Isn't that crazy that I might be attracted to you? Mm. <laughs> Being gay is scary. It's intimidating to you, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, I'm not watching that. Fuck that. But I'm sure as fucking hell... Sure that the uh, critical part will be uploaded to TikTok and Twitter and every fucking imaginal corner of the internet that I have nothing to do with because that's just the way the internet works. So if I happen to see it in one of those places, maybe I'll watch it. But I don't support pirating, so... Stop it! <laughs> well... Stop it. Here, we have some lighthearted goofs. Let's do that. How would being a micro-influencer wound me up? A micro-influencer? Stop. You're not an influencer if you're a micro-influencer. <laughs> Guys, you don't need that. Fuck. We got to get rid of that. <laughs> micro-influencer is not a thing. Well, there's already too many people who want to be influencers that are causing, like, uh, that are ruining this planet. Right. And influencers do enough harm. I'm proof of that. <laughs> no micro-influencer. I refute this title. You don't even want to be an influencer at all. Uh, there's nothing more embarrassing than being a micro-influencer. Just say you're making videos, okay? At what point does a micro-influencer become an influencer, do you think? Well, I was going to ask you, what what is the definition of micro-influencer? Just someone that... Just someone who fucking literally has 10... I don't know, I mean... She influences has, I was curious. Amount. I was curious what this account has, and she has like 6,800... Followers. Girl, that's just like people at your high school. <laughs> yeah, you've got you got a lot of friends. Yeah. <laughs> that's like your grandma and some of her friends follow you. Doesn't I mean, okay. 
how being a microinfluencer landed me in the hospital. Yesterday, I went to Whole Foods and then Italy, and then I bought this stunning rug that actually fit perfectly in my condo. I started filming my first unboxing TikTok. The bulb and this umbrella exploded. I ordered sushi and FaceTimed this guy who explained to me that the powder and liquid I cleaned out of the light bulb with my bare hands could kill me. An hour later, the symptoms of mercury poisoning started, and when I really could not breathe anymore, I called 911 and went to the emergency room. I was diagnosed as delusional, so I came home and went to bed. How being a micro... Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> this is your brain on micro-influence. <laughs> I gotta read this again. I gotta watch this. Well, it's with some turns. Yesterday I went to Whole Foods and then Italy and then I bought this stunning rug that actually fit perfectly in my condo. I started filming my first unboxing TikTok. The bulb in this umbrella exploded. I ordered sushi and FaceTimed this guy who explained to me that... At this point, I understand why she's a micro-influencer. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I love her. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe she's not... she's so funny. Maybe she's about to ascend... <laughs> To full-blown influencer. <laughs> oh, I am ready to subscribe. I am ready to follow. Go, go give her that follow. Well, there you go. Underscore Jules Mary. She's going to get the H3 bump now. It's just so many cliches, one after another. It's too much. <laughs> Sorry for the lack up. of content. I didn't know I was going to be making this, she said oh. in the description. Okay, here we go. That the powder and liquid I cleaned out of the light bulb with my bare hands could kill me. An hour later. A powder light bulb <laughs> out of a... Out of a Powder out of a light bulb could kill her? That sounds not well, mercury right. in a light bulb, uh, yeah. Well, how, what, I mean, what, how old is this that. light bulb she's cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's deadly amounts of mercury in well, a light bulb. She, she says at the end, the hospital was like, you're delusional, yeah, she, go home. Yeah, okay, so. hold on. With my bare hands could kill me. An hour you're not going to see the video you're waiting for, bestie, yet. Later, the symptoms of mercury poisoning started, and when I really could not breathe anymore, I called 911 and went to the emergency room. <laughs> she took a fucking ambulance. She called 911. Oh, here, here from AB. Light bulbs contain an inert gas or argon, and this isn't da very dangerous so long as there's oxygen around as well. Of course, there's plenty in the air, so there isn't mercury in light bulbs. Oh, well, some, no, some light bulbs do have a, a small amount of mercury. From in when? It. 1920? Uh, no. Isn't I've seen CFLs, which those are still in circulation. What is a CFL? What does that thing look like? Type of bulb. What are her other videos like? Yeah. Hold on, I want to finish this and we'll, we'll just go down the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. like these, I was delusional. They put mercury in those? Uh, again, a tiny, I, I don't know if it's... A, a, I, don't, I doubt one broken bulb would expose you to enough mercury to... Really fuck you up. It's probably more mercury in I'm, the fish. Yeah, I'm, yeah there's probably more mercury in a salmon than. Uh, Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I'm saying you have to collect the mercury from dozens of bulbs. You'd have to. to be, yeah, for it to be dangerous. So I came home and went to bed. How being a microinfluencer landed me anymore, I called 911 and went to the emergency room. I was diagnosed as delusional, so I came home and went to bed. What a relief. <laughs> She's so okay. Funny. But the whole premise, I, I, how being a micro-influencer landed me in the hospital. I guess she was looking for that clout. Some the people chat, The are, chat is now saying it's satire, but you know it, what? Yeah, it's definitely satire. Nah. Mm. I choose well, let's to believe. See. I mean, let's really? see. Let's go, to, let's go and find out if it's satire. Honestly, I took when your best friend taps out on day three of your bender. Get fucking personal. Because I want to have done it to you. You gotta mute that, yeah. Okay, whatever, it's just audio, I don't know what to say there. Bro, can I just go, okay. Honestly, I took it fucking person. I wouldn't have done it to you. What is this? This is not, this is not good content. Shopping haul. I'm sorry, but there's I looked no at, evidence I, of self-awareness here. I, I looked at a lot of her other TikToks, and none of them seemed like they were joking. So, I don't know. Maybe that one randomly is uh, satire. But uh, but if she has the presence of mind to create something so off the rails like that, you would think that that would be more... Pre here, here, she's narrating this one. Let's watch this one. There's got to be some goofs here. 
If getting married in Toronto was in my near future, I would copy a lot of what my cousin did for her wedding. So come get ready with me for my cousin's wedding as a bridesmaid. I woke up at 5 a.m. to shower off myself tanner. We met at the bridal suite for six. We stayed overnight at the Pearl Hotel. It was a stunning brand new hotel on the water in Burlington. We were the only people there, so it was almost as if we had our own private hotel just for the wedding. We had mimosas, coffee and baileys, and Aaron steamed all of our dresses. Then we all walked across the street to Bubbles and Blow Bar, where we were getting our hair and makeup done. The salon owner did everyone's hair, this except for James, her. the gay of honor. He did I'm waiting for the hair. end. And a traveling makeup artist, Vic, did everyone's makeup. They both did such a good job. I'm not exaggerating when I say we all looked way better than we ever looked. We drank more mimosas, ate nah, breakfast. Nah, How nah, stunning nah. was my cousin? I've never in my life seen a prettier bride. And then we walked back over the Pearl Hotel, popped some more champagne, got dressed, and then danced our way to the venue yep she's serious <laughs> yeah, i'm sorry but that was a real video the only thing that made me question it is when she said i was washing off my self tanner in the morning was that weird no no, no. you do that oh i thought like self tanner you do on. that Amy. No, you, you apply self tanner I do that, but I, mean, I don't know if she's doing it you apply self tanner you let it sit for six hours you wash it off oh i was watching i say go that. off queen she's making she's pumping out content i was making you can't, you can't I win was them all. going to my cousin's wedding yeah that vocal fry is uh, yeah. that's hardcore man. i was going to my cousin's wedding and then i <laughs> i mean if the end she could have been like we chat all... fell off plus ratio by the way yeah check if she is being, you know, ironic, she's not doing a good job at it because it's. Wait, the chat is arguing that she's being well, ironic. They, they've turned now after okay, that last video, you. so. So you're going and chat I, fell and also, off. And also, I called them boomer in the chat. I said boomer oh, wow. chat. Get Dan fucked. is going to war with chat, everybody. Boomer chat, get fucked. Somebody posted a uh, a thread <laughs> on the subreddit that's just gonna enable Dan more. Here, let me read it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got scared. I was like, oh, I got no. scared too. I was like, oh, come on. But it was actually funny. I'll read it. Um, come on. Where is it? What is the subreddit? It looks so weird. But what does that mean? She got diagnosed as delusional and went home. They told her she's crazy. They she said, her, yeah, they nothing her wrong her with you. They said, home. you can't get mercury poisoning from cleaning a light bulb. <laughs> you That's don't, so you funny. You don't have mercury. Yes, it is funny, but I don't think it was intentional. <laughs> oh, man. But you can't be diagnosed with. Well, no, she's we a dumbass. She doesn't know how to describe things. <laughs> no, that's what I yeah, makes that's me the... think it's a joke. That's it's, a joke. There's no evidence that it's a joke. You can't look in her entirety of her TikTok and say this one TikTok is un some next level yeah, satire. Yeah, you can't yeah. do that. Maybe she's I think she's Yeah, I think she's going next level there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I disagree. You need more evidence. You together. need more <laughs> evidence to support oh, such yeah. a theory. You need more evidence. Because the last one could have been like, uh, you know, we went to the bridal shower and uh, we all got arrested for having a uh, for having asked on us. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Like right. just something like that. Yeah. If there were, <laughs> yeah. If there were any other videos that were in that same comedic style, it would be really easy just to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to find that post. Can someone find I it? Sent it? it? Oh, you Discord. Did Thank you, AB. AB's always on it. He reads my mind. There's Which is all I ever want from you, AB. <laughs> I just trying. want you to read just my trying. fucking mind. I just fucking look mind. at you throughout the show and just... But you did in this case, so I'm happy. Dan's treatment of members lately. And I saw this with like a thousand points when it was up there and I was like... Oh boy, here we here go. Here we go. I get it. Members can be annoying in chat, but telling them to shut up, calling them annoying... I'm leaving Ethan out of this because he usually says something and stands up for them. I'm a former n member now, not because I'm offended, just because I'm broke as hell. I just want to say about Dan the Hater that he can go right ahead and do that shit whenever he wants. <laughs> it makes me lull every time. You know what? They deserve it. Talk <laughs> shit to us, King. I live for it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is posting before my subreddit search isn't yeah, working. Yeah, my heart sank when I saw this. And I Go got on, halfway man. through it. They got me good. <clears throat> yeah, this was a great post by none other than Oracle Oracle. Shoutouts. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. But um, anyway. No, I, no poll, guys. Sorry, you were wrong. A poll if it's Boo. real or fake. I'll do a poll. I I'll authorize a poll. a poll. Yeah, I'll authorize Hell that. Yeah. Come on, guys. Olivia's catering to the chat. I'm not catering. It made me giggle the first time I saw it. It made me laugh, too. I love it. But for different reasons, yeah. <laughs> evidently. 
Look, I understand thinking that it might be a joke. Like, I get it. I want to believe it. There's, well, no, there's just not enough evidence. You okay. would see other funny TikToks. And these, these people, they think we don't check these things? Like, I didn't see the one post and, like, immediately assume it was real. I looked through her TikTok. She doesn't have oh. other joke videos. Well, you know Oh, what? wow. The majority still think this shit's satire? Okay, then. All if right, she's not in on there. the satire of the joke... We are, and we still think it's not. It's not that's satire. Her I know. <laughs> if she's actually just a dumbass, <laughs> we got to get her to call it's in. Still now. It's almost 50, 50, We're at fifty-one forty-nine. Okay, whole. well there you go. You see, this isn't. If everyone says the H three uh, community is just a bad misogyny, wagon. excuse me. I just oh, saw that God. in the chat. What? Yeah, I was seeing that too. It, maybe yeah, that's a joke. A joke. Mm. They saying internalized misogyny. Maybe. I think that's out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. I'm not going to say it. I will say, though, that's the one thing. When I read that post about Dan, like, my heart stopped for a little bit, too, because it's not my audience to talk shit to, but, you know, Dan's been here long enough, and I'm, it makes me so happy whenever he talks back every your, so often. It's your audience to talk shit to. Go I mean, it, just, you know, no, nah, it's not right, guy. It. I stand chat in all conditions. I oh, love okay. every member. Also, all the, members. When, talking, all of them, Dan! I love all of the members, too. I mean, it's, it's, it's banter. You Especially know what I mean? It's called banter. Keemstar, who has five subscriptions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and let me say that, too. A lot of people think whenever we complain, we think it's everyone. It's like 1%, if even. But they're the annoying ones. All right, it is the nose have edged out just like, Oh, wait, no, it just went back to 50, I was going to say, guys, oh, to everyone who says the H3 community is a bandwagon, I've come out, I've put my neck out there, I've said this woman is not satire, and there you go, people vote against me. There you go. They have voted against me. Independent-minded kings out there in the chat. Satire, yes, is back. Yes is back on top, so there you go. <laughs> we are independent, yeah, exactly, we're free thinkers, we're a community of free thinkers. That's right. So, shout outs. Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. And it's 50 50. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Did you see this? It's, I have seen this before. It's great. Yeah, nice ocean view. What do you guys think about this? You know, living on the ocean's awesome. I was, reading, I was listening to the news last night, and they're saying about how there's some crazy ass glacier that's. You guys know the glaciers are all melting, and they're like, the sea, if this thing goes, the sea is going to rise by like six feet in like five years. Awesome. So, I can't wait. <laughs> I like, <laughs> so I was like, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's just hilarious how no one gives a fuck that, like, the ice is melting and we're all bro, fucked. Bro, just don't live near the sea. It's what are you, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? What did I saw? I saw a real, a the real The whole juicy ocean. One. Do you understand how crazy that is? Six feet. That's the height of Zach. Sorry, Zach. Six one. Six Thank one. You very much. <laughs> the whole well, ocean forbid, around exactly. the whole Six world one. is going to rise the the height of Zach. I mean, Wait, that's a lot feet? of that, water. That's like hundreds of years from now, though. No, dude. This six whole feet? glacier is going. It's going to be like ten years to five years. No, it could be another Pangea. Oh. I'm no telling you, dude. It's, I mean, I believe me. I know it's bad, but I think no, six it's bad. A, it's bad. A little bit away. Half the ice in the Arctic is gone, dude. Half. Right. Well, maybe. I'll take think, word for it. Do you think Pangea will happen again? <laughs> that was like, that had nothing yeah, to do with I ice. So. Really? I think so, Zach. You need to prepare. It could. Well, they I say mean, the continents are moving closer to each yes, other. Yes, it so. will happen again in like, I don't know, a billion years. I don't know. Right. What do you, yeah, maybe. <laughs> no. Is this, are you asking just separate from the climate change discussion? Yeah, I mean, I mean, because, yeah, I mean, on maybe. topic. <laughs> Why well, are you making fun of me for that, Dan? <laughs> well, because that's, I mean, that doesn't topic. have anything to do with climate change. Yeah, it goes that's, through that's, figure. cycles. Because like, that has to do with te <laughs> tectonic... How the fuck do you figure? Tectonic plates. Listen, he's explaining it. Don't double down, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tectonic plates, I mean, they shift over, you know, geological ages. We're talking, like, millions of years. And, yeah, so they're moving, but it, we're talking, like, two centimeters it's a year. It's the molten less. core of our Earth shifts plates of the Earth. It's called tectonic... Right. Movements, tectonic plates. So it doesn't really have anything uh, to do with the climate. How does that have to do with environment and world and climate? It has. Well, not, the climate. It has, it, it yes, really, science. It has to do with the with the core of our planet. Yeah, like the Earth goes through cycles of being com yeah, completely frozen, earthquakes. completely overtaken by lava. Well, um, the frozen has nothing to do with Pangaea. That has right. No, no, no. Just, but it's ever changing. Yes. I mean, it's but tectonic living... movements will never stop. That's independent of weather and climate. Thank you, Zach. Does that make sense to you? <laughs>
Do you know about tectonic plates? <laughs> Did you learn about yes, that? Yes, I know about tectonic plates. So plate. that's what it's about. It's not about carbon or anything in the air. In the atmosphere, yeah. I, I'm still saying climate change. Okay. Pangea. Climate change. Stop climate change. No more Pangea. Hashtag free Humans Pangea. against Pangea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What Napole are we going to do? Napoleon with? swam back. It's shout out. <laughs> Dude, imagine what, Im what Pangea will do for immigration. Oh, Bearing, yeah. Bearing Fucking straight, baby. Bearing straight. Bearing straight. Bearing straight, dude. Bearing, bearing these nuts straight into your mouth. Got him. Oh. -ho -ho. <laughs> Not you, Zach. It's just... Uh, we got to... Somebody's saying we got to stop Pangea. You're right. <laughs> we must stop, stop Pangea. Pangea. <laughs> we have someone, to figure out how to stop said, this. I'm so pumped for Pangea. I already got my tickets. <laughs> <laughs> No, hottest festival. No, of the we have to stop Pangea. It is going to it is going to increase immigration into this country. Uh, there will be no more borders. How will we monitor our borders with Pangea? This is a cat cataclysm, my friends. No. Yo, well, if climate change didn't happen, the Titanic wouldn't have sunk. True. So true. And think about so that, dude. So true. And Jack and Rose could have got married. I know they're That's fictional, fictional, but, but like, it's also fictional that they're gonna shout out Titanic, dog. Yeah. Shout out Jack Dawson. I'm not sure that's true, Zach. I don't, I don't to, know if yeah, you're I'm kidding. Trying to do but the, pretty, when was the Titanic launch? Titanic. Like the 1912. 19. Yeah. Oh, I mean, 12. there was definitely some trending of increased carbon, obviously, by then. But I don't think there was any. Uh, well, they were going through the North Atlantic. There's yeah. icebergs there, so. Yeah, but I, I think there's always icebergs right. there. Yeah. Yeah. There was a bunch of factors. Well, you had the Industrial Revolution started, and you know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. They didn't bring the binoculars. Yeah. Shut up. What are you, a fucking Titanic uh, scholar? Uh, scholar? I actually, long you actually story short, no, I went one, <laughs> once, I went with this girl I was talking to, she wanted to go watch Titanic at the fucking movies, and we went to the movies, and it wasn't the actual Titanic, it was a fucking documentary at the IMAX about the Titanic. That's awesome. So that makes you an expert? I wanted to see fucking Leo and IMAX. <laughs> I, I myself am actually a uh, big fan of the Titanic, not the movie. I, I know a lot about the, the ship. Titanic. The ship. It's deep. Yeah. Big Get it? Man. Deeper than it's it sink, dude. I made wow. the joke before you could. Fuck you. So, um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So, anyway, here, anyway speaking of uh, the, the ocean raising six feet in the next five years. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing eating breakfast there in these types of conditions? Like, what are they okay. doing? Time to go. <laughs> yeah, and you know, this poor restaurant is going to be underwater in about... This is awesome, though. Guys, this is no time for brunch. <laughs> The ocean is rising, damn it. Pangea is right around the corner. I'm gonna be honest, I think that video was satire. The TikTok. Yeah, no, this one. Oh. I'm asking okay. the community. Pulls up. If Very this funny. video is satire? Yeah. The ocean, the ocean was making a joke. Oh, is the, is the ocean kidding? Gang had the same thought. Thought. It should have been, is the ocean kidding? <laughs> That's no joke. That's no joke. <laughs> What are we going to do without ice? The ice glaciers are melting. The ocean is rising. You can't even eat brunch with a beautiful ocean view anymore. What are we going to do without brunch by the ocean? It's outrageous. These chefs, these restaurant owners are doing impossible things. They're on stilts, damn it. They've got a whole building on stilts. We've got to freeze those fucking glaciers! Back! I'm calling on everybody. On December 18th at 12 o'clock, everybody open your refrigerator at once. We're gonna cool this fucker down. Everybody point your AC outside. What are we gonna do without ice? Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this shit! The fuck? The ocean is angry! It doesn't want us eating brunch! God damn it! What do I got if not brunch? It's fucking outrageous! 
Crispy bacon with an ocean view. It's not right. The Titanic would have never sank if those damn icebergs would have stayed frozen. That bitch, the unsinkable Mar Brown Mary or whatever the fuck her name was, took that spot. Jack could have had it. He right. was a young man. He had his whole life before him. That fucking unsinkable bitch. <laughs> She's old enough. They could have lived. Free Titanic. Together. And don't get me started on Rose, that selfish bitch. <laughs> there was plenty of room on that door. What are we going to do without Jack? What are we going to do without Jack? <laughs> and the fucking ice is melting. God damn it. And don't get me started on Pangea. <laughs> get your words straight, Jack. Jack. Get your words straight, Jack. Yeah. There you go. Fuck. Fuck. I'm fucking over it. I'm goddamn over it. Maybe I should introduce something more than meat to my diet. I'm very un unstable. Fuck. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That bitch took the heart of the ocean. <laughs> and she threw it. She <laughs> threw it in the damn ocean, that fucking bitch. Oh, no. I, we could have had the heart of the ocean. <laughs> she threw it in the ocean. What was she thinking? Jack wouldn't have wanted you to throw it in the ocean like that, you fucking bitch. What are we going to do without men? And they're all big diamonds. It's unfair. It's unfair. Why didn't they cast, at least, if they would have given her a smaller door, we wouldn't be obsessed with the fact that there was space for two. Why they let the women and children go first. A, a, a toxic masculinity. The women and the children go first. The men are doing impossible things. They're dying in the engine room. They're playing the violin as the ship goes down. They do everything. And these fucking entitled kids. I want to live too. And that unsinkable brown. Yeah, your ass wouldn't be so unsinkable if you were a man. If you were a man, your ass would be on the bottom of the ocean right next to the heart of the ocean, you bitch. But for real, why'd they make the door so big? If they would have just made it a one-person-sized door, this whole debate, it could have solved everything. What year is it? <laughs> what the fuck? This is awesome. Here I was on the Here Titanic. I was on the Titanic, buddy. I know what, what happened there. It? Dude, jo no, what? Jordan Peterson literally dressed like a pickup artist. No wonder. Is that For really? He looks so different. This that. is him younger. He looks German. I think he lost a lot of weight. I think I was stung by a bee in his eye or something. I got bags under my eyes because I'm just so fucking pissed at all these women. What cabin do you think uh, Dr. Pearson would be in? Would he be low level, mid level, high level? I'm a man. What do you think? I'm first to die. I'm on the bottom. Saw those two making love in the car. I beat off watching through the window. They never saw me. Was, was that your handprint? <laughs> I saw the handprint. It's crazy how big the door argument is because in Rose's defense, they show him trying to get on as well. And it he flipped. barely tried. He tried, but that see, it's there to show that they both couldn't get on. They shouldn't have made the door so big. It they could have been smaller. Turns. Could they have both gotten on that? I don't know. He, I feel like he attempts to get on. He they could have sunk it if they were both sitting on it. That's right. Yeah, well, his ass leaning off ain't helping anybody either. Well, I think they should have taken turns. I feel like he had to do that to control it. So well, he's it? no, his ass sunk to the bottom, and she just floated. It's off. well because he died. Too cold. They can't, right. they can't swap. I mean, it wouldn't have helped. They would have both died. I mean, it's too late now. You know. <laughs> she lived Rip. her life though. 
Her heart if went she, on. I'm sorry, but if she okay. scooted yeah. over, it did go on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, he probably if you. Mm, the thing is, she looks all cold and frostbitten now, but at the time she had some vitality. Like that's after her his ass had been sitting in the Arctic Ocean for fucking hours. You know, I'm sorry, bro. Fucking I don't beautiful. buy it. All right, bro. Here, let's see. Look at how they're just like, oh yeah, it's all good. Look at this. It's all good. Just chilling, I'm gonna take huh? a nap. His legs are. Fucking... I'm just chilling in the northern Atlantic. <laughs> I mean, look here. They both are on it. Shout out to that pool in Burbank. <laughs> nice warm wet water, probably. You know, I hated it when I was younger, but you grow up and you you appreciate it. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it back then. I loved that movie. I mean, I haven't seen it in a while. I've seen it like three times, and I always stop it right after the car scene because then it's a happy ending. Wait, the car scene? When, when, when is they that? Buzz. When they buzz. oh, that car scene. Because when I was a kid, I remember watching and like panicking and crying. So now oh, really? I'm just like, Maybe. I don't want to watch this. I think you were probably too this. young for that movie then. Correct. Your yeah. Pa- your parents did you dirty. It was terrifying. You in the when the door closed, you know. In the oh, when there's mm-hmm. the water's filling. Yep. You want to hear some wild shit? Somebody just donated twenty dollars to say that's not how buoyancy works. Okay. Well, what's this <laughs> chart I just found? Look at this. There's they did a whole damn study on oh, it. Oh, really? Look at this. How can two people fit on this piece of wood? Hmm. What? It's not about fifty. It's about the weight. Well, look how they distribute mm-hmm. the weight. They figured it out. Perfect no. distribution of weight. Well, they didn't have time to run these experiments. It's just saying they didn't even try. An bro. Episode of MythBusters says Cam looked into this. Oh, they did. What was the result, Cam? You can't remember. That's the most important. You can't. What's the point if you can't remember? <laughs> well, well, what did MythBust? Did they bust this or what? They found out the Titanic is actually satire. The Titanic isn't real. Oh, this is a screenshot from Mythbusters. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. There's, this is literally someone wrote a whole article about this, about buoyancy, about, uh, let's see. This is an age-old debate. I mean, this has been a debate since elementary school for me. Can you not, bro, please? Okay, thank you. Um, so, wait, they're going to make a conclusion here. Mm-hmm. Made of oak. They got the perspective, they're doing the math, they're doing the buoyancy. Mm-hmm. This is quite impressive. <laughs> it's, it's very detailed. <laughs> so if the panel was made of oak, it could only hold rows as 1992 plus five, 549, which is just enough for rows to stay afloat above the water level. Okay, so they're saying... Um, there you have it. Not even the power of love can overcome the cold-hearted, brutal law of the universe. So according to this, they're saying... According to this Tumblr post with three likes. I don't know. They did the, <laughs> dude, they did the math. No, I mean, it looks pretty thorough. <laughs> they did the math on this. It looks this. pretty thorough. They're saying only Rose uh, could, could, it could hold her weight. So there you have it. Damn. Damn. The real debate Damn. is at the end of the movie, is she dreaming or does she go to heaven? That's the real debate. But she threw the diamond? After, when she goes and she goes to bed, it looks like she's sleeping, but also she's on the Titanic and like she Who sees cares Jack if waiting she died for her. Or is awake? Dude, she was like 100 years old. I man. know for sure he ain't there. I don't think I've ever seen that part. <laughs> well, because you never got past the sex scene. Well, it's not I, that. I always, it's, yeah, it's, I guess. It's, it's, <laughs> I do you remember this part of the one. sex scene, Olivia? Say it again. Do you remember this part of the scene? <laughs> yeah, I do. Actually. I watched those two in that car. <laughs> I had my dick in my hand. Go get her, bucko. <laughs> he did pretty good with her, but I could tell he was inexperienced. Bend her over, yeah. I was shouting notes to him. Consensus seems to be that she died, by the way. Yeah, I think she, well, some people saying she didn't. I think she went to heaven. And he was like, waiting for her because the clock in the background wasn't moving. She went to Time heaven, stopped. but is this a religious Whoa. film now? Wait, wait, what, what, what did you... What, done there's an interpretation a, a thing about the waiting. clock that wasn't working? The clock wasn't moving behind him. The clock wasn't working, Time buddy? stopped. He was waiting for her in heaven. Fucking beautiful. Next Man. question. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped you you think he really wants to hit that old ass? What's he going to do with her in heaven? Break her hip? 
That'd Fuck be, that. That'd be so fucked if he was still young and she was old as shit. Well, of course. How's he going to be older? He didn't live. Yo, rip to Billy Zane, my dog. Did he die? No, but like he... In the Titanic. Well, he, he was the baddie. Yeah. He was the baddie. He was the badass guy, but like oh. he died. Like, never mind. Who cares if she died? Zach, the type of dude to root for Billy Zane in the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, shout out Billy Zane, dog. He had a few rollies. Uh, how being a micro, the restaurant, let's see what else we got. The Joker laugh, okay. Let's move on to the Joker laugh. It's taken us like an hour to get through every 30 second clip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one goes out to Zach. Joker. <laughs> the Joker, yeah. I've been told that my laugh is very reminiscent of the Joker. Of oh, the Joker, yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that sounds like Zach. This is when Zach got his booster shot. I hear it, I think, yeah. <laughs> this is just cringe though, right? Yes, it is just cringe. Okay, because he's just trying to laugh like the Joker. Are you laughing? This is hard to watch. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm confused. Why Why did this come to be? Was he hitting on her? Was yeah, I think he's hitting on her. I think yeah. he's trying to impress her or make her laugh or something. But, man, this is... This is <laughs> <rough>. <laughs> yeah. And she's, obvi she's obviously uncomfortable enough to be filming herself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude. Are you still on the clock? <laughs> yeah. I can't go fucking work. I just I need a drink. I can't oh breathe. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Why so serious? Dude. Uh, oh. oh my god. Come on, guys. It's obviously satire. Oh my god. That was the that was bad. <laughs> that was rough. I, oh, that was rough. That was a bad one. Brutal. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Play that. Let's do oh. a competition. Oh wow. Let's oh, see who can do God. Shatner the best. Oh my. Do God. oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You're just pretty good, Ethan. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. Weightlessness. Oh, weightless. Weightlessness. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Oh, my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck. Oh <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Oh wow. I'm telling you. Oh I'm oh, telling you. Wow. That, that, that you. Fuck? You. <laughs> oh I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh I'm telling you. Oh I'm telling you. Weightlessness. 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I'm telling you. Hey, he's, a, he's a little clogged up on that one, isn't he? A skateboarding on a dead car. Okay. Let's see what's in store for us here. All right, my car is dead, so I'm going to skateboard down this hill. Just like that. Yeah. You may have a problem yeah, boy. Uh, controlling it. Dude, what the fuck oh, are you shoot, doing? Oh, shoot, this is actually very dangerous. Yeah. Um, so there's uh, definitely... Oh, shit, I don't have to push my way. My door is open. Oh, shit. Bro, oh, shit. what the... Oh, fuck. Oh, my you better bail. bail. Is this real? Oh, what the fuck? Dude, what the Holy hell? Holy shit, you guys just saw that! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Guys, my bush light is gone! Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Oh, well, this car is screwed. Thanks for sticking around, guys.
Damn. Damn. How are you that dumb? Oh, that was fucking dumb. <laughs> that was the dumbest shit I've ever done. Yeah. Whew. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. This is okay. Yeah, that's true. No. So yeah. what was it? Was he holding on to the door or was he on top of the car? It seemed to me. I think he had the. All right, my car is dead. Oh, he said the door was closed, right? Because he was. So I'm gonna no, the down door's still. open now. It's just like that. Yeah. Did he not realize he was about to go down a hill or something? Did he? I just. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, but you can see his foot here, Zach. He's got one foot on the frame here, uh -huh. and one foot on the ground. He's pushing like a skateboard, and he's holding onto the door. Dude. And holding a camera in his other hand. Dude. Yeah, wild. boy. He had a good opportunity to get in there and push the brakes, I feel like. I think he just panicked. <laughs> oh, shoot. This he can grab the wheel if he needs to. Dangerous. He has one hand. Um, He's narrating about how dangerous it is instead of acting when he had a chance. So there's a... Good camera work, though, considering. True. Maybe he, he has that rig. It. It's not that Keemstar has. He's got that right. Swiss Army knife. Definitely. Oh, shit. I don't have to my, my door is open. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Oh, my fucking God! Guys, fuck! You hear him by the brakes with his face? Holy shit, you guys just saw that! Holy fucking shit! I think what happens at the end is he is reaching in and turning the wheel, and the momentum of it turning right causes him to... He swings out. Yeah, he swings out on the door, right, yeah. I mean, I would have bailed at this point. Oh, my fucking God! You guys, fuck! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm glad he's seemingly it. okay. Holy Dude, his shit. camera work is incredible. God, my bush light is gone. Oh fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh well, this car is screwed. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Damn. Oh. What's the story here? Like, I actually want to know who is this guy, <laughs> and what the fuck was that? Guys, my bush light is gone. What is bush light? It's a beer. Oh, he was drunk. That helps explain. <laughs> Holy shit, fuckballs. Is he an influencer or like what? I guess there's. I'm, they're Maybe not a micro. Much. Yeah, he's, micro yeah. He's, that's, yeah. That's micro influencer behavior right there. This is satire. <laughs> oh no. That's going to be the new meme. Uh, <laughs> um, is that funny? I, I don't know if this is incredible, but I'm seeing someone comment on Reddit that uh, he went to school with this kid and it came from a wealthy family and he was known for doing crazy stunts like this. Mm. So it was satire. It's happened in my hometown in upstate New York. Buffalo! We got a buffalo kid. This is buffalo behavior for sure. That's a cheap car, though. Yeah. That's a very cheap sense. looking car, yeah. It's a Honda CRX. Yeah. No respect for those. <laughs> they run forever, though. Unless you slam it into an embankment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for something... Great, because how long have we been going, Dan? Well, we've been going for uh, one hour, 32 minutes, and four seconds. Yeah, so we're running out of time. I'm looking for one last good thing. Like We've got woman spitting and sealing chips at supermarket. That's an old one. Yeah. Gabby Hanna talks about the Vlad Squad calling her fat. Logan Paul late to his own podcast. Did you see Melania's NFT? And, and then there's that one. You want to do that? I feel like that's quick and pretty good. Okay. you got to see the actual... Uh, so, NFT with the audio file the Trump area. family has finally, at long last, joined the NFT craze. She is excited for this new venture, our former first lady and future first lady, Melania Trump. Excited for this new venture, which combines my passion for art and commitment to helping our nation's children fulfill their own unique dream of America. Wow, sounds lofty. Uh, she's pleased to announce that uh, the NFT platform, which will release NFTs in regular intervals exclusively at MelaniaTrump.com, Melania's Vision, it will be called, will be available for purchase for a limited period between December 16 and December 3. Nobody, this is going to be like the, um, wait, it's the 17th. Can we see, we have updates? I feel like this is going to be a bit redemption type of situation. Well, you go. Uh, the next link in the <clears> doc <throat> is the link to where it's being sold, and you can see it. And there's an audio okay. associated with it as well. 
So it's a, it's a full audiovisual experience. Should I NFT. finish reading the statement? Eh, who cares? So here's the website. Let's see what's Melania's NFT here. Limited time, baby. It's uh, loading. Is this an ad block uh, situation? Very, no. My I vision think, is, oh, there it is look forward with inspiration, strength, and courage. That's it. That's the NFT? Yeah, would you like to buy that for $200? And she did all of this press release and <laughs> no, all this shit you. about help. Why, why is she talking about helping kids? Uh, a portion of the proceeds. Not even all of it. No, not all, but a portion of the proceeds will go to some kids somewhere. Who knows? It sounds she, like Bay's family. Great. <laughs> By the way, when, when they say a portion, that could be nothing. That could be 1%. Like, if it was a substantial amount, she would say the amount. That's Scammed. my take. <laughs> Scammed? Yeah, because you only say portion <laughs> because you're not giving, en like, hardly any. So, because it would look tacky as fuck for her just to do this for profit. <laughs> But she is. I mean, it could she, be like definitely. just a few percent. But what does one soul mean? Oh, uh, a Solana, I think, is uh, oh, right. Shit. Love Solana, isn't that a, a crypto yeah, coin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solana. Melania Trump's personal journey has been enlightening from Slovenia through Europe and into America, including the First Lady. The beauty and hardships of individuals, majestic landscapes, and profound <laughs> architectures have entered. Her lens and remained in her heart. You know, she's like, dude, Michelle Obama is killing it out there. I need to get my, I need to get mine. Right, but she doesn't want to do like speeches. Well, nobody uh, wants so. to pay her for any shit. She, like, what the fuck's she going to do? <laughs> Wait, wasn't she, when uh, Trump got nominated, she got, she at the RNC gave a speech and it was like directly lifted from Michelle Obama's <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, speech. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. she should do a speaking tour and just do, Michelle's material. I just don't think she's as inspiring. I just don't think people are going to pay to watch her. Speech. Oh, look at that. Maybe she should sell. Line it up. Line it up. Michelle oh, Obama. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Play oh, the sound. that looks good. Give me a <laughs> break. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melania, it's almost Christmas. What do you think about Christmas? Who gives a Is that Demi Lovato? Wait, hold on. Melania, <laughs> say that again. <laughs> yeah, if I go to Fox, they will do the story. I don't want to go to Fox. <laughs> Wait, what did you say about Christmas? Who gives a f about the Christmas stuff? Wow, that is blasphemy. Christmas is the most important day of the Christian faith. How dare you? <laughs> Who gives a fuck about Christmas? It's amazing. <laughs> oh, and then don't forget Be Best. My Be Best initiative. What? That's why I love this. Sh I love Be Best. It's so fucking good because her husband is the most prolific bully of all time. <laughs> Be Best. By compassion, strength, and kindness, these qualities are the fabric of our nation, and allow you look for good. a place of freedom you look really and opportunity good. for all. From coast to coast, <laughs> really good. Americans like really have unwavering resolve to Fuck help Christmas. one another Fuck this and share a common bond in wanting to create a better future. For our next generation. Boring. My vision is look forward with inspiration, look strength, forward with and courage. Inspiration, <laughs> courage, <laughs> strength. <laughs> oh, here, what is an NFT? This is great. She's educating the people. Oh, good. And uh, why purchase an NFT? When purchasing an NFT, the buyer is receiving a unique and secure digital asset. Just like a baseball card. Mm, how do I purchase an NFT? Three steps. Create a digital wallet. Add cryptocurrency to your digital wallet. In this case, Solana. And then just click buy NFT. Can you imagine a boomer who's trying to buy this shit? Being like, like this is the hardest thing, I think, for anyone who would be interested in buying this <laughs> yeah, to right. ever do. Yeah, good luck. Just create a digital wallet. That's like... And then buy cryptocurrency. That's you're basically asking them to build the Eiffel Tower by themselves. <laughs> Do you remember her uh, her uh, Christmas decorations at the White House? How it looked like it was like a hallway from the Emperor's Palace in Star Wars or something. Yeah, it reminds me of like uh, um, what was that one they recreated with the with the AI, uh, the robots with Harrison Ford? Oh. Um 
Oh, Blade, Blade Runner? Runner? Yeah, it's like a Blade Runner yeah. scene. <laughs> Dystopian <sighs> Christmas. Sick. What is a smart contract royalty? <laughs> we do a little trolling. It's called. We By the way, she's trolling. got the resale royalty on. You can always send an NFT as a gift without re any reoccurring fee. But if you sell the NFT to a third party, there will be a 10% transaction fee. To yours truly. <laughs> Having him fall here. <laughs> I, get a, I gotta wet my beak a little on this stuff. You guys understand. Look at this cursed shit. <laughs> Not cursed. Beautiful. Wow, you really snapped today. <laughs> Do you support Coinbase? Is on her AF, uh, FAQ. Coinbase is a crypto exchange. If you build a Solana wallet, you can instantly transfer SOL from Coinbase account. Do you support... Oh, they're saying, can I use it? Yo, they've got everything here. Awesome. Yeah, well, if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing this limited edition... For two, 200 my bucks? Only 200 My bucks. vision is look forward with inspiration, strength, and courage. Well, I'm, I'm going to cry. <laughs> they say, please make sure your sound is turned on to listen to this NFT. Oh, God. It's just, I'm going to come. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it's Can just... we see how many of these have, have she sold? It says current supply is 1,000. 132. Can we see how many she's sold, love? You're pretty good at the blockchain stuff. Mm, oh, yeah, here. Check. Transaction history. Oh, yeah, she's she's selling them. Oh, not that many of them. Check this out. You want to see a, a crime committed right now? Sure. Oh, no! Got it. Well, luckily, it's not it's not the grand theft because it's only one seventy five. Right, it's under the. But if you pressure. download that four times, your ass is going to jail. So don't even think about it. Don't even fucking think about it. Oh, oh, my journey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you? Th are you trying to see? It says sexual yeah, trend. Is this, it says successful transactions, 1,734. Did you sell that many of that? Uh, yeah, probably. I just see in the past day, she sold one, two, three, four, five, five of them today. And yesterday she sold four. I mean, that's not that crazy. I mean, the first lady, she's, she only sell four in a day. That's micro influencer shit. <laughs> <laughs> she's in her flop era. Yeah, for Forget sure. her. <laughs> I uh, think Trump in general is in his flop era, and it sucks. He'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> he'll be sucks. back. Don't worry. Perpetually he'll, he'll in his flop era. Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. Solana. All right, do we have to go? Yeah, I have to go. Okay. Short one today. And there's no episodes this weekend because we did live on Thursday. So Right. We'll have behind the scenes today, though. Oh, yeah. So thank you, of course, to our members. Even though Dan yells at you. No, we love you all, members. We love each and every one I of you. I love you. Individually. 99%. And um, members get episodes early when we pre-record them, which we didn't do this week. This was a, a full set of live episodes. Kind of wild. Wait but, a minute. They... What you also get is the community Discord and a weekly BTS made by AB. Thank you, AB. And um, there's going to be a new one. Today, after this app, AB, yep. is that it? Mm -hmm. That's right. With the footage of you riding the bull, right? So, there's some footage. Oh, yeah, you bull. riding the bull. Tune Hassan's in, in it. We got Amaranth in it. Amaranth. Right, right, right. You reading Kevin All's tweet for the first time, finding out that the FBI is coming for you. Oh, right. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, so become a member if you want to watch that BTS. And we'll be back. So, next week's our last week. We're going to be doing an episode on Monday. Off the r whatever H three TV. We're doing H3 TV on Monday, and then Wednesday is our last episode. We're doing the year. After Dark is our last episode. It's going to be a very special live episode. White Claw Gabe will be here. White Claw Gabe, we're going to have a wow. special. I'm telling you guys, are not going to want to miss that final episode of the year. And can we tease Ian? We're, we're doing your whole thing on next Wednesday, right? 
Yeah, that's right. Everybody. Oh yeah, from, yeah. Remember from last year, Craigsmas was a yeah. huge hit. That's yeah. the origin of the cursed Cosby doll and all that mm -hmm. kind of good stuff. Well, Ian's done it again, folks. And uh, I don't know all. I don't know my yeah. own. I don't know all of them, but I know some of them. And there's some real, real Craig's cursed is shit. back. Yep. And that's yeah. not even the big. Uh, that's not even the big one. The big thing we've been working on. Yeah. We've got a lot of things going on. So Wednesday. very excited for that episode. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. There's plenty of content to catch up on if you run out. There's like 20 billion hours of content this week alone. <laughs> for real. And, uh, well, we love you. It's a pleasure to, uh, to create for you and to family it up. Family, family, family. 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 Oh, can I say? Are you changing the page? We are so off Family. beat. Eating it up. Family. 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 Yeah. Family. 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 Okay. That was a breath one. What, Dan? Uh, somebody, I saw somebody in the comments the other day say that we should shout out who made, I, I guess that's a content creator that made that video with all the Vin Diesels. Wait, I thought we did. It was the Vin Diesel guy, no? Or I think was he was else? just participating in it. Oh, okay, yeah, we should shout him out. Yeah, who is it? Because uh, that clip just went viral, and we just saw it somewhere or I whatever. It we didn't see it from the original. Guy. Family, family, family. Thought so too. Uh, uh, family, 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 family. 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 <laughs> I'm looking for it, but it's so viral. That's the thing. Like, it, there's a million Stop. uploads of it. And I, well, next week we can we'll we figure can it out. Shout to, out! Shout yeah. out to whoever came up with that. Yeah, it's we'll, brilliant. We'll, we love it. We'll give them a big shout out at the top of the show. Yeah. Oh, so oh, that's right. Donut Media is their name. Somebody in the chat knew. Thank you. D shout out Donut Media. Uh, hopefully, you haven't assaulted anybody or anything. Oh well, let's give them a big shout out at the top of the show. Donut Media. Uh, next week, Dan, right. or AB, make a note They're of awesome, that. They're awesome, by the way. Do I love them. Oh, you know them? Yeah, it's like a car YouTube channel. Oh, interesting. Oh, for real? Uh, yeah. And they created that? They but anyway, let's went. find the original video, AB. Mm -hmm. Next week, at the top of the show, we'll give them a big shout out. All right, I'll load it now. Oh, I see their banner. I guess it makes sense if he's doing a Fast and Furious movie. You right, see their banner right, yeah. right, is right. all the guys. There you go. Well, shout out. It's an amazing video, and we've... So we'll figure out a lot of entertainment came. from it. Yeah. Thank you, Donut Media. Yep. Family. 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 Oh my god. I think maybe you this look so good like that. Is this yeah, video a little late, vacation. by the way? This is from two weeks ago. Paul Walker, everything you need to know. Uh, nope. I don't know everything about Paul Walker necessarily. And I imagine I'm not alone out there as somebody that doesn't know the full breadth of things that you should know about Paul Walker. So, mm -hmm. uh, Not a time-sensitive video? No, not necessarily. I mean, 1.1 uh, million people... Um, found that helpful so i think there were some involvement in fact you're on my account can you save that for later on yeah I, i'm gonna watch that ability? tonight i feel like there was some involvement with paul walker's brother with the future release or something recently so maybe that's why here let's see is it back humanitarianism or is it something harder to pin down like being the right person to make the right moves at the right time maybe it's everything well for car nerds all over the world myself don't get sucked into this you gotta go here included you paul gotta go walker is why an icon okay yeah. His Express in peace to the greatest. R.I.P. R.I.P. Walk with the angels. <laughs> people made that. People say that, right? I can't be the one that says that. Rip walk Paul Walker, walk, walk with the angels. Oh. oh. Yeah. Walking with That's God. That's the first time I've heard it, but it sounds beautiful. Yeah. Walk with Paul. Walk. Paul walking with God. <laughs> yeah. Rip. Ripping. Uh, Okay, thank you everyone. Have a great one. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. Your wetching next to the three, 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 three. My drinks are made while the incest on the sleep. Shredder will start barking while Fredo's acting sweet. We'll do the real raw ritual with more. And ET, share a laugh with the ring. Jim C, I'll blow Jimmy Lee. They said we wouldn't come back, but you, we always do. Rise from the ashes like the Phoenix on the flex back to two.